Some breaking news here at six o'clock tonight. Three state senators from Worcester are calling on the state attorney general to appoint a special investigator to look into the death of Enrique Delgado Garcia. And at the same time, the ACLU wants federal authorities to get involved in the case. The I team was the first to report that Delgado Garcia, a recruit at the academy, was critically injured in a boxing exercise. And WBZ chief investigator Cheryl Fiandaka has been digging into the recent troubling history at that training facility. No one was injured during what was called the slip and slide at the State Police Academy in 2021. The recruit hijinks was just silly shenanigans. But the I-team found State Police training has a darker history involving allegations of hazing and harassment. In 2005, an investigation found an instructor pushed recruits' heads into toilet bowls as punishment. An investigation is underway at the Massachusetts State Police Academy. After and in 2022, 20 recruits suffered serious burns on their hands after instructors had them bear crawl on hot pavement. Just last week, 25-year-old recruit Enrique Delgado Garcia died after I-team sources say he was injured during a boxing exercise. The Worcester County District Attorney promised an outside investigation, but it has been seven days and no independent agency has been publicly named to take over the case. And in the wake of Delgado's death, a former classmate came forward alleging discrimination and humiliation at the academy. All of that sparking concern by the ACLU about the lack of oversight of the state police. The ACLU is calling on the federal authorities to urgently step in and initiate a federal investigation into his death and the surrounding circumstances. Against the backdrop of Mr. Delgado Garcia's death, there are also serious questions that are being raised about whether there's a pattern and practice of discrimination or other systemic illegality at the Massachusetts State Police Academy. Our state really needs to think about how these kinds of allegations of misconduct that involve the Massachusetts State Police are going to be investigated because every state actor, including law enforcement, requires oversight. The Massachusetts State Police tells the I-Team no troopers, instructors or supervisors have been transferred or placed on leave from the academy. The FBI says it does not confirm or deny investigations. Cheryl Fiandaka, WBZ News. Cheryl, thank you. If